Now for me and Raftalia from Rising of the Shield Hero. Really good anime. Crazy first season. I, haven't, I don't think I've watched. I think the third season's out now. I haven't caught up with it. But this is a Patreon quest from Dave for both the main characters together. And he sent me this image. Landscape page. Use a pencil eraser. Hit pause if it go too fast. We will start with her eyes. She's kind of lower down. So like now for me up here. She's like down here somewhere. So center point here. We'll go across and down a little bit. Just down here in this space. Okay. Let's go. Big old anime girl eyes. Curving up and down, right? To get our shapes started. Okay, and she's got like little sort of eyelashes down here. And there's like a couple of spikes on this side. And we gotta thicken them up. They are quite big eyelash lines, right? So we gotta like make this much darker. And we'll add eyelashes like in the corner and then all around. It's right, so a real big eyelashes now, so very exaggerated. Okay, and then her eyelashes are like coming off the front here. And then like one going that way, curving up. Curving around, right? So that's basically her eye shape, right? And then her iris is an oval, it's not a circle. Big and skinny, sort of like that. And then her pupil. Like so. In the middle. And then we have an eyelid line on top. And then our eyebrow. So it's, we'll go here, right? And they don't, they don't hide it. So it's like, it goes underneath her hair, but it's one of those ones where you can see the whole thing, right? Underneath the hair. So you just add a little space that you can add some color to. Like that. So her other eye, about there, it's about eye width because she's in three quarters. So this space and this space are about the same. So like, if you wanted to measure it with a ruler or anything, you could, but here and here are about the same between her eyes. You can fit that eye across there again, roughly. So then curving up, big arc. Like that, and then it spikes down there. You gotta thicken it up and add a big eyelash on the corner. And add some thickness to this top eyelid as well. Right, so it's real big and then you color it black. And we'll add eyelashes. So like a spike off the front here. And then coming along the back, going that way. And then up here. And there's like one sticking up itself here in the front. And then we have an eyelid line. And then our eyelashes down here, just like three one sticking off the corner, and then her iris and her pupil, an oval-ish eye, like so. And then the pupil, it's kind of dark purple, but I'll do it black just because it's clearer. It looks like it's like a darker purple than black in the picture anyway. But they always put more detail into the promo images than in the animation. Eyebrow going that way. Add a space that you can 
color there. And the rest of the features of her face are kind of framed in by her hair, right? So we can see her nose, very simple, the little arrow sort of going that way. And then her mouth, bit of a gap, but a sort of standard sort of smiling mouth like so. And then her bottom lip is like there somewhere. Her chin is real pointy, right? So it goes down that way. And then it curves around, comes out for her cheek. And then this goes underneath hair, but I'll draw it in just to about there. I assume that goes out and then back up, but we got lots of hair. And then her jaw, but then there's like something covering the jaw. Hmm. So her jaw, like you could draw it, but she seems to have a big collar that colors it, covers it. So I think I'll leave it like that. And now we'll add her hair. So she's all hair, this one, lots of hair. Right, so no easy way. We start with the fringe. Coming this way. Lots of big curving hairlines. Then we have sideward ones that come in onto her face. That way, and the same on this side. They kind of like frame in her face here. And I think, yeah, her jaw goes in there. And then another one sort of comes across her face that way. And goes up that way. Right, and then there's like another sort of hairline or something there. Of course, you'd raise this line or color over it. Okay, so this like all this section of hair, so it goes like another little spike in here, and then it comes up and sort of bumps in the middle and it goes back around the other side. It's like a single strand sticking off there, and then this comes down that way. Another spike there somewhere, but I think that's plenty. And the hair goes long, sort of down behind her shoulder there somewhere. So she's got these sort of animal ears sticking up this way, and then it has an edge, and then it's got. hair inside and on the other side we can just see him here I think and then we have that inside line again and then the little sort of hair spikes and stuff 
right and bumping like that okay so she's another section of hair spike in here And then there's a collar, her shoulder. So the collar comes across her cheek. So it just like goes this way. Goes down that way. There's like a yellow edge. Like that. And then her shoulders in here. So, well, it's like armor sort of and her hair goes in behind and this has sort of buttons on it curving like that and then her hair Right, and then we got a ribbon or a strap or something going this way. And then her neck comes out from her chin here. And then her collar on the other side goes there. And there's like a shadow underneath the chin. Right, so a collar on the other side of her head. It's got this zigzag sort of situation here. Then it goes down to there. And this is that gold edge again. And then we kind of got these fan-like lines just there. is tied here and then there's purple and pink fabric that comes out of that goes off that way like another tied ribbon section here a lot of detail in their costumes actually. I think we'd see fingers here. And then oh, let's see. So her hair again. On that side. And then there's longer strand of hair that goes off this way. Like that. And then there's a ribbon, I think. Or no, it's her hair, actually. So that's hair. I didn't realize that. And they're tied down there. She's crazy long hair. Okay. And then we can just see, like, her hand, you could do a finger here and her thumb. So this is long hair, okay. So this is another piece of hair. I thought it was ribbon. Her shoulder is kind of there. Right. So that's all hair. Okay, so that's Raftalia.
there. So now for me then is all over this side. And he's kind of looking at her, smiling. So his eye is like just beside her ear here, his white eye, and he's like different eyes, right? So kind of more square. So it goes kind of flat across there. And then we go back that way into here. And then we have like a little point there. And you want to thicken this up a bit, like make it a bit darker. Little spikes coming off it. Like so. And then his iris, so he's looking over to the right hand side. Down that way. That's kind of flat along here. And then his iris on the other side. So it's kind of like flat on the bottom. And then his pupil looking over to the right. Like so. And then the eyelid line coming across there. And the eyebrow. Like so. Right, and his eyebrows are kind of like black or dark grey. Same colour as his hair, kind of. So you want to add a little space to colour in. And he does have like an extra line there or something. So is the other eye. So we're kind of, his head is like tilted, he's looking down. So the other eye is like up here. So we go diagonal and then across. Then down and in. That's like the general shape for the top eyelid. And then you want to like thicken it up and add the spikes and stuff, right? So like a spike there, spike here. And then coming off the ends. It's just the anime sort of style that they use for the eyelids. And then his iris, again, it's kind of like flat. So it's kind of like touches this line, the edge of it. It's kind of like flat in the bottom. And then his pupil. Just there. Looking that way. And then this. And then we got an eyelid line here. And again, his eyebrow going that way. Dark gray, skinny on the end. Now most of his eyebrows are covered in hair, like his fringe and stuff, so you don't really see it. So his nose, throws out that way, back in, and then a nostril. And then his mouth. Smaller sort of smile. And his bottom lip there. And then his chin is kind of square, kind of tilted out this way. All right, so his head's at an angle. And then this will go diagonally and up. And then we see some of his ear there. So his cheek, so you're in three quarter pose. So that means like this is the center line for his head, right? And this side will be skinnier than this side, right? So you, and you'll, you won't see the jaw, you see his cheek. So it curves out for the cheek. And then it disappears kind of underneath hair, right? So I'll, I'll stop it there. You could go in and then back out for the forehead and up. But it's just easier to kind of stop where the hair is. And then we'll try and do his hair. So very unique hair. So we go across the face here first. Hair spikes there. The one here. Then another one comes across 
his eye right there. And then he has ones that are like underneath, right? So, well, so there's like, first there's like a big one that goes this way. Right, and then there's ones that come across here. So that's hair, and then another one goes that way, and then another one here, and then there's more that come out across his face this way as well. And then on this side, we got like small one what that comes across the face there so then that's like his cheekbone but then we have another hair spike going that way and this one seems to go up and around there and there's another one here Some that stick out here. No easy way of doing this. You just have to like copy it as best you can. And these spikes get quite big now up the top. back into like the part in the middle of his head And then more that goes down behind Raftalia. So all the way down behind her head here. There's like another one. Like so. Right. That's his head, basically. So we can just see like a bit of his neck coming down from say behind his ear and then there's a collar, lots of collars, more of Talia's hair there actually, and then there's a collar that comes across his face like that and this has a, like a yellow like collar section, so like a golden rim. there and then his neck comes out from his chin and this has a black shadow like Raftalia's on it as well and he's kind of leaning back you know he's kind of leaning into her and then the collar on the other side neck and then we have a gold edge there 
So then we have like an owl symbol or like a sort of an animal. So or a bird's head or something like here. And then it has like ears on it. Which goes out to a point back in. Here to a point back in, and then it has a beak on the front. And then like a head shape here. Kind of buttons and or eyes. Just there and then his green cape sort of goes that way and then he has frilly sort of fur like section coming out from here it's like a hairy fur collar or something same on this side we can see his fist here his hand but the cape goes that way and then we got like some armor lines. Armor line going that way. Armor line going that way. There's like some scratches and stuff on this. And then there's some more fabric lines on his cape. There. And so his hand and his shield are here. So the shield, so say the shield is like in here somewhere, right? So it's like how high up we go to there, and then back down. It's a small shield, but it can change shape there, and then it's got like an inside black section. So it's attached to the back of his wrist, okay, so let's say like here. So there and then this will go like up to a knuckle and then down to there and then another knuckle and finger here. Then another knuckle and finger here. Another one there. And then we got like some hand lines that way. Some skin folding for the pinky there. And I think we can just see the top of his thumb that way and maybe like another skin fold. And then he's got like a wrist guard or back of the hand guard here with some buttons on it and finger, 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 gloves, fingerless, brown leather gloves, right? So it's brown like all in here and fur. Now for me with the fur. Curving. All here, and it kind of goes back into this bird head thing here as well. And then there is fabric. Boom. Boom, boom. Am I missing anything? That is always the question. No, I don't think I am. Thank you for the request, Dave, on Patreon. Good anime, if anyone out there hasn't watched it. Rising of the Shield Hero. See you in the next one. Bye.